Well, today, 50 students graduated from Cal Western Law School, and while it's really obviously a big accomplishment for each graduate, there is one in particular who caught our attention. NBC7's Megan Tavrizian joins us now with a true story of perseverance. Yeah, well, Monica and Catherine, it really is. Eric Weber is the epitome of beating the odds. He's fighting a disorder that affects one in 68 children, proving that with hard work, grit, and a good support system, you can accomplish just about anything. It was hard not to notice Eric Weber this morning, by far the most enthusiastic and excited graduate in the room. Eric, Nikki, <laughs> But then again, he may have the biggest reason to celebrate. People call me the trailblazer, the icon, but uh, I just think of myself as an ordinary person doing extraordinary things. I'm feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> it's, um... It's a long journey. When Eric was just two and a half years old, a high fever suddenly left him autistic. Eric lost all language skills. All he could do was grunt and scream. Doctors told his mother, Sandy, Eric would have to be institutionalized for the rest of his life. He ended up at the um, uh, Scottish Rite Center and a wonderful person just took him in and believed in him and two years later he walked out with some the beginnings of language. And so began the journey when Eric would prove those doctors wrong again and again. He joined Special Olympics and became a star runner. Then in 2008, Sandy worked on improving Eric's people skills. So I walked into the two candidates for our council district and the one that embraced us was Marty and I. For two years, Eric and Sandy campaigned for Emerald, going door to door, meeting people for the first time. Sandy said it taught Eric how to understand first impressions, body language, and read facial expressions. Be strong, live courageously, and, and never give up. And today, Eric proved living by those words can get you pretty far. I'm proud that he trusted me, and trust is the key. Because if they don't trust you, that isn't an automatic when you're the parent. They don't trust you. You can't do anything with them. Sandy is just wonderful. So Eric had a huge support system at the graduation today. Councilwoman Marty Emerald couldn't make it to the graduation because she had to go to chemotherapy, but members from her office were there. So were members from the San Diego Police Department and friends and coaches from Special Olympics. Eric will now study for the bar exam, and he wants to practice special education law. Oh, wow. This That's is awesome. a fantastic story about Eric, but isn't it just as much a story about his mom and all that she did for him, right? Definitely. And she says she remained hopeful through the whole thing. She uh, wants to stay positive. She even takes him to the zoo, and they look at animal behavior to find out how to interact socially. They look at the animals and decide that. Um, but she says she has a strong support system. People have helped her throughout the way, and she actually goes to the National Foundation of Autistic Research and helps there and gives support to other parents. I know there's going to be a lot of other parents watching her to see that you how can they can do help it. their children. Yeah. Yes. All right. Great.